What is it like to travel around Switzerland during February? This is what you will get to know in this video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jemo and I'm a Switzerland travel expert. This video will be going through various categories like weather, snow, season, prices, food, culture and more. Basically all what you would need to know for planning a Switzerland trip during February. Now let's get started with the first thing and that would be snow. Great news, February is the peak of winter, thus there's going to be a lot of snow, especially up in the Swiss Alps. Even down in the Swiss plains, you actually may have a chance to experience snowy days. That's really enchanting, especially if you're in a beautiful village like Schwelbrunn. Likely during those days, there are not going to be a lot of people and it's going to be just really beautiful to roam around. But in general, snowfall down in the plains is not so common, unlike up in the Swiss Alps. Up there you will have really great conditions on the slopes for skiing, but if you do not ski then you can also go for sledding, the toboggan runs are also going to be very ready. For those who want to see the very green face of Switzerland, then you better want to travel from mid-May until end of September. About snow, there is one thing that you probably may not have known and that is that it's quite dangerous to the naked eye, thus make sure to bring your sunglasses. Then, the weather. In general, February is quite a cold and a dry month. Down in the plains, it's going to be between minus 5 up to 15 degrees, often quite mild. But then up in the Swiss Alps, it's going to be rather cold. There, the temperature varies between minus 15 up to plus 5. Yes, sometimes it's also quite warm up there. General, February is a quite sunny month and you will have great use because the weather is rather dry. So let's say you're going to the Swiss Alps, for example to Zermatt, then you'll have a very high chance to see the Matterhorn, getting a really beautiful unobstructed view. I would actually say February is a really great month to visit Zermatt, very likely we'll have a fantastic view to the Matterhorn, but then in summer usually the Matterhorn is going to be covered by clouds. Although still it's great to be in Zermatt during summer. As it's winter it's also going to be great for sunsets, we have to say, some of the most beautiful sunsets I've experienced in February. This was the case up on the Lauchenalp. The snow was showing a really beautiful glow. And then also in Grimens, that was probably the perfect winter wonderland. Then, because the weather is going to be very cold, you should bring along good clothes. So make sure you bring along a winter jacket, winter pants, good shoes. It's going to be rather slippery, goggles, gloves and a cap then you'll be definitely ready for winter. The next thing would be the attractions. February is the peak of winter, so there will be a lot of different things to do than during summer. In fact, most of the activities that are open during summer, they're not going to be available during winter. That means you cannot go and swim the rivers and lakes. Well, you can, it's just going to be very cold. And then adventure parks and zip lines, all these things, they're going to be closed and they will not open before April or May. So now then the question, what can you do during winter? Well, of course, the first thing would be going for skiing. There are many great resorts, for example, Flumse Berg. It's actually very central. The Port du Soleil, the largest international ski resort in the entire world. The Silvretta Arena at Samnau in Ischgl, really great. And then also Zermatt and Sauce Fee. Both of them belong to the most snowshore ski resorts of Switzerland. Then you can also go for sledding, that's especially for those who do not ski. It's really adventurous and also very thrilling. A great trek would be the one from Breda down to Bergün. Then, believe it or not, but even during winter you can go for hiking, although the experience is going to be very different from summer. But there are a lot of hiking trails. The one that I did was at Zinal, taking you up to the glacier and the experience was really fantastic. February is the peak of winter and it's also peak season. Basically all of Europe, they're going to have skiing holidays and thus a lot of people will flock to Switzerland, especially to the Swiss Alps. So up there it's going to be rather crowded, very busy, many of the hotels are going to be fully booked, same goes for restaurants. And here it's really important, if you want to spend your winter holidays up in the Swiss Alps during February, then make sure you book your hotels at least in September or October, because afterwards they're easily going to be fully booked. Let's say a hotel like the Arosa Krulm Hotel, that one is actually very popular or same goes for the Capra in South Fee. Hotels like that in general, they're easily going to be booked because many people just love to spend their holidays there. 
For the restaurants, the situation is a little bit different, but you still will have to book your table a few days in advance. Because it's going to be peak season, the prices for ski tickets are going to be higher, although the increase is not very notable, but for hotels, the prices can rise 50, even up to 200% or more. Now let's talk about food. Great news, February is a fantastic month for foodie enthusiasts. So during this month, there are going to be a lot of winter specialties like fondue, raclette, crepe, waffles and glue wine. But here, do I have to mention, actually with Swiss people, we do not eat fondue on a daily basis. This is considered a specialty, so we only have it on special occasions, like on a winter holiday or just after skiing. And now my favorite part, February is a month of culture. Actually, people say February is probably the most cultural month during the year here in Switzerland, so there's really a lot to experience. During February, it's going to be carnival. It starts on Dirty Thursday, and then it ends on Ash Wednesday. Well, that's for the Catholic parts here in Switzerland. A very interesting event to witness would be Jacket in the Lötchental. That's this carnival with those guys wearing scary masks. They're also going to enter restaurants and entertain the guests. That's actually really fun. One of the big, big highlights here in Switzerland during this season. There's going to be carnival everywhere in Switzerland, but very important to mention here would be the one at Luzern that I've not filmed yet and the one at Basel. They're usually in a competition. Each side is claiming they have the best carnival. Well, myself, I do not really want to get into this, but I'm just going to play the fine neutral Swiss guy. I'm not going to choose. The carnival in Basel is not always happening in February, sometimes it's also taking place during March. It starts on a Monday morning at 4 a.m. with the event called Morgenstreich. That's really one of the most beautiful things to experience here in Switzerland. About the pass roads, I do understand they are very beautiful, but most of them they are going to be closed. Open or only the Brünig or then the Juliopos. Otherwise, you'll have to take these car train tunnels, for example, the one at the Vereiner, Autoflot Fokra, or the one at the Lötschberg connecting Kandersteg to Gruppenstein. But then here, you will have to bear in mind, especially on weekends, it's going to be very busy. On Sunday evenings, a lot of people, they're going to return from their skiing holidays. And then you can actually queue up to three hours, sometimes even four. That actually has happened to me, and I do have to say, it's not really cool. About visiting waterfalls during February, I would say this is really not the month you would be dying for to see waterfalls. In general, many of the waterfalls are going to be frozen, and those that are not, they're just going to carry little water. So if you really want to visit the waterfall in Switzerland during February, then I would say just go to the Rhine Falls. It's nice, but Definitely the best season to visit waterfalls is between May to mid-August. As you can see, it's really great to travel around Switzerland during February. Now, if you want to know how it is to travel around during the other months, then you may want to watch this video. Otherwise, if you're more interested in the top 10 things to do in Switzerland during winter, then I'm going to see you over there.